So we are going to make a pomander out of dried flowers today. Um, you will need your little sphere, your oasis sphere, a bit of string, some um, pot tape, sorry, not a buttonhole tape, sorry, and some wires, not overly thick. If you've only got the thin silver wires, that's fine. Um, and a little bit of woody stem. So I've used the end off the gypsophilia because it's really, really strong. You could use bamboo cane, you could use twigs from the garden, but the gyp is all good. So first of all, we need to make a handle. So you need a length of string, approximately that, doubled. So, you know, it's one piece of string bent in half. So this is gonna form a handle. So that will sit on bridesmaid's wrist and then pomander will hang. So that's probably about long enough and I'd say that's it's about a foot. So with your two ends, that are where, where it opens, you need to get your wire and do a single leg mount on the end. Now this has to be really tight. We want to be able to pull the string without it coming away from the wire. So as tight as you possibly can. So the little test then is to give that a tug and it should stay. Then we need to tape this, which is just, again, it's to add um, security so that it doesn't fall apart. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom with it and the tape keeps snapping. So with your sphere, you can see that one end, you've got a bit of a hole and some lines. Whether that's your top or your bottom, it makes no difference. I tend to always use it as my top, um, but it's, it doesn't matter. So then you're gonna go straight through the oasis, out the other end with your wire, and pull your string down so that it can't be seen. Um, so the top of this, this wire here can't be seen. Then at the bottom, we need to secure this. So this is where the pieces of stem come in. So that's going to sit next to your wire. And if we give that a trim, we can bend the wire as tightly as possible. And tuck that in. So the stem is stopping the wire being pulled back through. So we can use another bit as well if you don't think it's that strong over the top, which is sometimes very recommended. And then another bit of wire that I've just chopped off. Um, you can always use glue for this as well. Hot glue comes in well. But we shouldn't need to for dried flowers because it's really um, light. When you're using stronger materials, heavier materials like fresh flowers, you're going to need to have glue involved probably. So I'm just making some hairpins and securing those wires in. So then the string can be a handle and it's all nice and secure. These bits can be trimmed which will just save covering them so quite so much. And that's sturdy. Look, you can pull that and that's not going to come. So the test for this is little bridesmaids will tend to swing this around their head. So um, you can do that when you're finished and if it all falls apart, then you've not passed. So to start our design, so we're using dried material so we don't need to soak our oasis. I am going to start with the jip, as it's the bushiest thing that we have. So these need to be quite small because they are for bridesmaids generally. So it's very easy to get carried away and make them huge. 
so bear that in mind when you're making it's quite short stems so these are the little bits that i'm breaking off i'm even going to trim them small so they're only if you can see that length quite quite short and i'm going to put a few of these in together now you could start wiring things if you wanted and um, i'm just going to put them in you might if you was doing this for a real life wedding try and um glue things as well certainly stems at the bottom with fresh flowers you'd be gluing but as soon as it's all dried we should just be able to pop in lots of it without any fear so we don't have a lot of oasis to work with we've only got a small piece so i know that you're aware of when you're doing designs normally in oasis that you can't make too many mistakes because once you've got holes in the oasis it makes it very difficult so with a pomanda it's virtually impossible once you've got holes in there you really need to be committing to what you're doing they're lovely simple designs these but then they can be tricky because of just having that small piece of oasis So what else could a pomander be used for? So very often they're used for little bridesmaids. They could also be used for hanging. You see this sometimes on, um, on hooks going down the aisle, which looks very beautiful. So what we need to be aware of is that we've got all our oasis covered and even distribution. So I am going to do the very bottom last because we want to be able to be able to put it down whilst we're still working away. And I am just making like small patterns at the moment. So I'm not just putting things in willy nilly. I am going all the way around that way and then I'm going to go all the way around this way. So my reasons for that is so that I get a nice even sphere. If you just start putting in random, you might get some taller bits, some shorter bits. We want it to be a nice even sphere. So I find it easier to make it into quarters and that makes that little job a little bit easier to do. So the string gets in your way, so you just have to keep popping that out of the way. So I have my base built there now, if you can see. So I've got a line going down here, this way, that way, and there. So that's forming my shape. So I'm going to put the end in last. But now I'm just going to fill in some more jip in each of the quarters to make it nice and full. So you can, if you need to, um, mix some fresh flowers with these as well. If you've got some foliage left over from your design last week, some eucalyptus would look nice in this and will dry. I don't have any, so I won't be using it. So 
So you can see I've um, stopped the video so you didn't have to stand and watch me for quite so long. But I've got quite a bit of coverage there now with the gypsophilia and I've hung it on a, a bouquet stand. Um, so if you can get something to hang on, it's going to make your life easier. The dried is very unforgiving. If you touch it and handle it too much, it starts crumbling. So you are going to have to be very careful like when you're holding it, you need to get your fingers in and hold the oasis as much as you can and secure it that way. Um, so I feel like I've got enough jip in there now. So I'm going to start now with a bit of the uh, status. Um, and I am just going to have these as little, little pieces. There's not so much of this. So I'm not really having any set pattern with my pomanda. If you had um, roses or carnations, you would need to think about your pattern a bit more. But we are just all dried and they're all loose, fillery bits. So we just have to think about even distribution. So it is literally it's just making sure that you've got bits of everything going everywhere. And not forgetting the bottom. You need to be aware of making sure that your materials go in the oasis enough. As if they're not in enough, they're going to come out easily. They'll, they'll fall out. But also, if your stems are too long, they're going to start crashing into each other. And you will see once you've got more materials in there, it will become tight getting all your materials in. So mm -hmm. things that you could hang your um, pomanders on are you could get um, a crate and hang it from there. You could I have a think, let you know. So we just continue popping in our bits and pieces um, until we've got lots. This salal is very, very brittle. It's falling apart in your hands, so you be careful. So I've put in all the status that I have now. I'm just going to unhook this from here to show you what I've got so far. So you can see, I can still see quite a lot of the, the greenery, but we're getting there and it's quite a nice, evenly balanced. So yeah, if you have got any eucalyptus going, it's going to be your best friend. So what I'm adding in now is a bit of this, um, this grass, this pink grass. I am doing this in twos. Mm -hmm. So, um, because I think it looks pretty like that. And I want this slightly more raised than everything else. So I'm pushing them in as gently as possible. So the more full that these designs get, the trickier that they are because you've got less place to um, put your hands. So I'm really just using my finger and thumb to guide the stems into the foam. This stems are about that length yeah so they're quite quite short and then when I'm putting them in I'm holding them between finger and thumb like this so that I can really guide it in just gently supporting the ball with my left hand and then guiding those stems in until 
I can push them down from the top. Um, I did also find a bit of this Ruscus that was left over from um, a, a previous week's box. So if you've got bits of that as well, that would look nice, but you might not have it left. You might have used it all. So just being really mindful and putting my materials where I want them, so making the decision before I put them in. So that we don't get lots of holes and of course the the least amount of time that you're holding these things the better and that one's not where i want it to be and also not forgetting about the very bottom so I am going to bring in some of these pink corn things straight down so it is building they are quite slow really to do so But then with these white ones, I'm breaking down the stems really quite small. So cutting even the little stems in half. So like stems like this, are probably cut into about three pieces. Because it's so white, if this recess is in, we're still going to get a good blast of it. So it's good. So I've been to the fridge and I found a little bit of eucalyptus which has helped a lot so I really would recommend you using a little bit of fresh parvi uke if you've got some or any greenery that's really really small leaved because you don't want it to be overpowering. Um, so I filled in lots of little pieces with the eucalyptus, I put in more of the pink corn things, I don't know what we call those, bunny, bunny towels, I don't know. Um, some of them are in twos, some of the smaller ones, if you look here, they're in, in pairs. Some of these bigger ones I've put in individually and really recessed them in because they're quite large really and that they do help with the coverage. Um, I have started to put in some lavender but you will see the lavender does spike out quite a lot so you need to be mindful of your shape with the lavender. Um, and then it's a case of just, just keep going and just keep filling in. I need more lavender this side. If you can see, bits there. Um, that bit's probably almost done, that side really. Um, so I'm going to carry on putting in a bit more lavender. Um, I am breaking it down quite a lot, this lavender. It's really tall, so I'm cutting it in half. And then just taking off a few little bits and using it about that sort of length. And then pushing in as far as it will go. Um, I'm using these end bits as well. We don't want to have any waste. These can be recessed in, which is then going to start adding a bit of depth to the design. So bits like these that are small, I think, are nice joined together and put in as a pair. Yeah, and then it's a case of just, just keeping going, really. So when you um, make these, you're not making it with fresh flowers, but if you was to make this with fresh, 
you would need to either make them on dry foam and soak it afterwards so you don't get water all over your desk and, and dripping all down your arms and everything else um, or you can just give it a little gentle dunk um, but I would recommend doing it dry using so using the green foam that's for fresh flowers and soaking it afterwards so you do that by using a little spray bottle and spraying it all making sure you get the oasis as well because if these balls are really well soaked they become really heavy as well which is no good for for bridesmaids so you need to keep keep misting them up until you deliver the wedding so I think I am pretty much done now so if we take this off so you can see this is the pomanda and we see we've gone all the way around and it's quite even I've got some lavender that's that's a bit that long that lavender and pull you out and um, I need another shorter bit there now but it, it's quite even so there you go